Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Trekkie and we're on the right track. Guys, it has been a long time. Thunder, I really appreciate the fact that you've still got time for me on your channel, brother. It is amazing to get uploaded on TSG. So, guys, we've had quite a flurry of news in recent weeks about Call of Duty 2017. First of all, we was notified that it's going to be boots on the ground and then recently we have found out that potentially through leaks and rumors this game is going to be set in the world war ii era which begs the question for myself is boots on the ground going to be enough and i'm not going to say to save call of duty because it's very clear call of duty isn't in that much danger there's a lot of people that have been very negative about this franchise recently and have cast aspersions and a lot of people are claiming that Call of Duty is dead. It's far from dead. It's very clear if you've got an ounce of brains that this franchise is far from dead. But it is not in the position that it normally is, where it's a dominant game and sees off all its competition with ease. It's had a shaky year, a very shaky year. The community has spoken out loudly and um, the community has actually got Activision's attention, which is amazing absolutely amazing it's no coincidence we're going back to boots on the ground it's no coincidence that we was going to get a vietnam or a world war era call of duty and that's because of the vocalness of the whole community but will boots on the ground be enough no i don't personally think it will and i'm not saying will it be enough to save the franchise will it be enough to keep those og players that have went away and all those people that have left call of duty and the franchise will it pull them back and will it keep their attention now there's a few fundamentals that i think needs to be looked at by activision and these are the things that are making call of duty a laughing stock to other games dedicated servers are something that should have come as soon as we went to a next gen console as soon as the ps4 took over the call of duty series and the xbox 360 was left alone and we got the xbox one that's where we should have had dedicated servers that's where the tick rate should have been increased to match games like battlefield one and other games that <laughs> really kicking Call of Duty's ass at the moment when it comes to the likes of YouTube and Twitch. Is the community dead? No, the community is literally having an amnesty and showing that we are pissed. We are pissed. We don't want boost movements anymore. I I can't count the amount of times where I've been killed on a decent streak by someone boosting over my head. And it, recently, it seems like people are out in force doing it it's really annoying it is really annoying i also would like to see and some people may disagree with me here i would like to see the removal of specialists why for me i don't like the fact that somebody can be in the game for a certain amount of time and then destroy my kill streak on the basis of them getting a 3b like the war machine black ops 2 had it perfect in my opinion you earn a certain amount of kills you could unlock the war machine or the death machine that's how this game has ended up in the situation it's in because it has lost its identity call of duty has been so busy copying other games that it has forgot that it is the number one fps shooter it is the number one fps game out there and this is where i think a lot of call of duty's problems have arose from the fact that it has borrowed this and that from titan 4 destiny the, the list goes on and on and it's forgot that it was the most copied shooter anyway why would you copy any other th things i'm very glad that they have chose to go to world war ii if that is true because it should bring back a pureness to the game it should bring back that finesse that this game has always had the connoisseurs choice the people that really know how they want to play their call of duty their, how they want to play their fps games fast twitch pace shooters nothing but action but the only way i think this game is going to work properly is if they incorporate things like unlimited sprint a quick sprint out time with your guns and stuff like that they need to increase the skill gap slightly 
because it is far too it's so compressed in a lot of people don't like infinite warfare i'm one of the very few people that have said previously that i've enjoyed the game but even i have fell out of love with it now and a lot of it is because i found myself with 0.5 kd players who were shitting on me and i've got some type of feeling that there's some type of conspiracy where these players are allowed to be almost invincible in every lobby in five just to help them out and this is that whole participation medal bullshit that Call of Duty needs to get rid of. I came onto Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 2 and I'm still playing the game. And believe me, I was getting my ass handed to me for weeks. Weeks. But it only made me want to get better at the game. I don't know what Activision is thinking, but they seem to feel that making this game easier for players is getting more people to play. That is far, couldn't be further from the truth. The more players that they pull in when the games, the skill gaps compressed, they lose just the, the same amount of people that are tired of the bullshit. There's too many grenades. There's not enough powerful score streaks. If they really want this game and franchise to be a great one this year, there's certain things like this that they're gonna need to incorporate. Guys, it's just a question from you in the comment section. What do you feel that this game needs, aside from boots on the ground, to be an extra special Call of Duty? Guys, there are many buttons you could hit, but the like and subscribe button, I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.